I'm just gonna say it, the RPD is nothing short of terrifying. It is really freaking good. Now, obviously it has a few hangups, um, but in my opinion, those are very easily countered by just playing a little bit differently, and I will cover those at the end of the video. For now, though, I'm gonna talk about the standard RPD. Um, the regular RPD, the one you buy from proper loyalty level 3, you buy it for 90k, and that's that. You, you can't mod it, you can't put a sight on it, the only thing you can do to this is give it a shorter barrel. That's it. There are no other changes to be made. What you see is what you get. Because of this, it has very limited usability on other maps. The irons aren't terrible, but let's be real. Engaging beyond like five meters with iron sights in Tarkov is miserable. It is a tough time, especially if you're trying to fire in full auto. It just doesn't work great. So unless you have a good group of players that are able to cover you while you are able to close distances on people, or if you rush uh, close quarters areas like the dorms or maybe the resort on shoreline, this thing isn't fantastic on other maps. In general, it is used to stomp on factory. In factory, it is freaking scary. Obviously, gunning down poor Timmies is really easy. They tend to either have a bolt-action rifle or pistols. You have a machine gun. The math ain't hard. I completed Secure Perimeter with this thing, and it was a grand old time. For me, anyways. I don't... I don't know if anyone else was having much fun, but I enjoyed it. Obviously, bullying solos is very, very easy and quite fun. However, it is also very good against groups of players. You have a hundred rounds of 7.62 to work with. You don't need to let go of the trigger. This ammo capacity has saved me countless times against groups of people where if I was using anything else, I would have been completely screwed. I didn't even have to reload for that entire engagement. That was one magazine, because of course it was. I had a hundred bullets. Especially if you're in a hallway, this thing is just unfair. This clip was recorded live on Twitch. I am streaming nowadays, so if you would like to come check that out, I will leave the Twitch link in the description below so you can drop by. Anyways. There's two down there, I'm dead. They're just camping it. Give me something to switch on. Now those two at the end of the hall are dead. Can anyone tell me what they did wrong? Yes, sir. They had to reload? They had to reload. Remember, reloading is for dead people. Now, eventually you will have to reload and it is quite a process and takes a long time. So this is when you are going to be most vulnerable and you have to be careful. Or you could just click a healing button and while the healing animation is going on, tab, right click on the magazine in your inventory and click install and you reload it instantaneously. Congratulations, you've turned a five second reload into less than a second. Is this bullshit? Yeah, absolutely. But are we going to use it until it's finally patched? Yep. Long story short, the RPD, terrifying in confined spaces. But let's talk about the RPDN. The RPDN you buy from Mechanic, uh, loyalty level 3 for a barter. By the way, the barter is a Cyclone battery and a military circuit board. At the moment, that is a grand total of 80,000 rubles. So this is actually cheaper than the standard RPD. Just, I wanted to throw that out there. When you attach a scope to the RPD, it becomes a versatile beast of a weapon. It's still terrifying up close, if nothing more than for the intimidation factor. No one rounds a corner expecting to see an RPD. They come around and they're just like, why do you have that? And then they die. Also, remember, you have a hundred bullets in a magazine. There is no reason to be stingy. Pre-fire at all times. You can start shooting a solid three seconds before you round the corner. Do this and you will win more often. 
Okay, so we know it's devastating up close, but it's gonna have a hard time past short range, right? It's, it's a big, fully automatic machine gun. The recoil has got to be terrible, right? <laughs> Wrong. Even at medium range, the recoil is disgustingly controllable, and this thing will still shred through whatever you point it at. In, in some ways, it might even be overpowered. I had no problems fighting people at medium distances. It was just as, if not more viable than an M4 or an AKM. Seriously, I, I, I know I've said this a lot, but it is nothing short of disgusting. Now, long range is more difficult. Obviously, it's a machine gun. Longer ranges aren't really what it was built for, so it's not gonna be ideal. Uh, actually, it has better accuracy than the SR-25. What? Yeah, somehow the RPD has an MOA of 1.31, but the SR-25 has an MOA of 1.59. I'm not sure how the Soviet machine gun from the 1940s has a better accuracy than an actual modern marksman rifle. I don't think that's correct, game. I took this thing into woods and I was doing just fine. Taps are obviously going to be easy, you're just using it like it's a marksman carbine or something like that. But don't restrict yourself to this. Sprays are still incredibly viable, even at long range. Especially if you crouch or prone, you can hit stuff at ranges far greater than you thought you could. For instance, we have this poor guy I spotted running across the snow-backed hills of woods. I go prone and then hit him with a spray that feels like it should be illegal. For the record, if they hadn't changed the quest, this would have counted as a Shooterborn kill. Alright, I've talked about all the really good stuff about the RPD. Let's address some of its issues. Um, one, the ergo is terrible. And obviously, you're carrying a giant LMG with a big old belt box underneath it, and a scope that's mounted right next to your face. It's not gonna be the most wieldy weapon in the game. So if you want a snappy weapon with a really quick ADS time, this ain't it, but you knew that already. Another issue you're gonna have with this thing is it is freaking heavy. If you are going to run this, you need to use light armor so that you can actually loot stuff without weighing like 90 kilos. Optimally, you're gonna want the polyethylene plates. I'm pretty sure this is the lightest material uh, for any of the plates in Escape from Tarkov. Um, they're a bit more expensive as you can barter them from Peacekeeper 3 for a noise guy pass. I was running a full RPD kit with a spare magazine and spare ammo, and I weighed under 30 kilos because of these plates. So yeah. At the bare minimum, use the aluminum ones, and if you can afford them, get the polyethylene ones. I finally want to address the big question that I'm sure some of you were asking before you even clicked on this video. Why would I use the RPD over an AKM or a mutant with a drum mag? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, the RPD shoots faster. It shoots at 700 rounds per minute, which is 100 rounds faster than the AKM. The mutant comes closer at 650 rounds per minute, but it's also locked behind Skier 4 and his quests. The 73 round drum has a high failure to feed chance, and the 75 round drum has a very high failure to feed chance. If you're gun jams, congratulations! You are now holding a giant paperweight, and there are four people in front of you who want to kill you. The RPD has a very low failure to feed chance, and I dumped god knows how many rounds through this thing when I was making a video, did not suffer a single jam, even after dumping two mags without stopping. If I can remove as much RNG bullshit from Tarkov as possible, I will. I think that the RPD is worth using just to avoid that moment where your gun makes a light click and you have three PMCs staring at you. In summary, the RPD is very good. Use it. I, I liked it a lot. Um, it's also just one of those weapons that can be goofy and really dumb and really, really fun to use. So if you're just looking to have a good time, hauling this thing around is definitely worth it. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, especially all the way to the end. I really hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, have a good one.